Boriarabot or good morning in Armenian. Mm, still so sleepy. It's still dark outside. And this light is way too bright for me. Hello, May May. My, my voice is not vlog appropriate today. Body Arabot. Winter got. It's good morning in Armenian. Armenian? Yeah. But if you're May May, then Zao Shan Hao. Ni Hao. It's also acceptable. How are you, Tete? Did you sleep well? I slept well, but obviously. Winter bugs got better of me. Winter so bugs. My, my lovely feminine voice is gone. I think it's you getting used to the like pharmacy germs. Me, I slept six hours forty five minutes, even though I spent in bed eight hours twenty two minutes. I was rolling for first hour and a half. Well, I think you're doing something else. Uh, Watching Netflix, weren't you? No, just... I was talking to you, remember? Yeah, but then you were talking But to my me. sleep quality is eighty five percent, which isn't bad. Mostly I was in deep sleep last night. Do you feel refreshed? Yeah. I'm ready to challenge next day. Mm -mm. But you do what you gotta do. Are you ready to make me coffee? <laughs> I'm ready to like have a conversation with you. Guys, I wanted to tell you that I just put on my Apple Watch to monitor mainly how active I'm going to be today. So let's give it a go. I spent whole of the morning kind of trying to do stuff, working a little bit. I currently realize that my inbox is full. What I'm constantly talking about my inbox, it's full with actually team emails. But Henry just reassured me this morning that nothing is super urgent, so that's okay. Yeah, so I spent like a morning doing some things, spending time with my family, my nephews, having my coffee, ate my English breakfast. I'm actually gonna get ready to go to town. I'm gonna try and have a pedicure before the Christmas holidays start, but I know it could be a little bit difficult considering that probably everybody wants to have a pedicure now. I'll try. The plan was also to go to London today because I have quite a few things going on and I need to pick a few things and a few presents and stuff like that. However, not sure that's gonna happen because I just found out that the rail is completely like down because of flooding So apparently it's gonna start working around 3 again So I might still have a chance to go to London, which obviously I will bring you with me Henry's going Bonjour! Ça va? Ça va bien? Merci! Back three cap, which I think is essential You can be hey, uh, let's... Sorry for um, a little digression. I was I started doing my makeup as I was speaking to Henry. Just a little bit of makeup, not too much. But I was speaking to Henry because he mails. Okay, there's so much that's going on. Like also for the next year, we already started working so heavily, and you know, with fashion weeks just being as soon as you get back from holidays. So like I think I start working on the third of January. Um, I'm gonna take only like a week not even a week really off as soon as you come back from the holidays it's like bam fashion week prep so yeah there's a lot of things to do and to consider and to think and to discuss so yeah that's what we are currently considering and building and working on so now i'm using my wanted i don't know why i always use this travel palette it was just really close to my hand when i also have the the full size but I love Wanted, it's so good, it like, you see, it gives this like really fresh woken up look and I'm using the, on today's occasion, Revitalash mascara, I don't think I'm gonna use liner, it's just I wish I could know whether or not the trains will be resolved. This mascara is so great, it has the first like part is blue, you know like what's up lately, it doesn't really work so well when you're trying to send somebody an image, it very often bugs, like it just freezes trying to send and then I have to like restart it and I just realized I need to send Nina content before I leave and I need to leave and who knows when I'm coming home and need to like do so many things ah I'm planning to spend the days off without any makeup looking after my skin looking after my hair after my body going to the gym yeah I know that's really weird who goes to the gym over holidays I do because my mind needs it not so much my body and maybe a little bit of blush which blush should I use? Let's use something I haven't used for a while. I'm gonna use this MAC Beauty Powder in Sunny Surprise. I don't even know if this is gonna leave much color to my cheeks. It looks very pale. But it's quite cute, I think. You won't be able to see the color because the light is not the best here, but it's quite subtle. I think, like, my sister's gonna not be so happy that I'm running late with everything that I'm supposed to do, but I need to send Nina the content, so... We have a very important mission. 
tell me. You're coming with me turkey shopping. Turkey shopping? Yes. Why? First time ever, you're gonna come and help me select turkey. Are you excited? Uh huh. Sure, I'm gonna come 100%. Wait and see. Mm hmm. Like, I, I love shopping for food anyway, but turkey is like probably so high on my list, especially considering that I never even eat the turkey. You know, like, let's just face it, do you really think I'm turkey shopping with you? Yes. First question. Second question, are you really preparing turkey for Christmas? Yes. For who? Because. I'm not a very festive you person. Need big beans for breakfast, so you need to eat turkey. Did I receive some presents? Oh my god, I did! So someone just put it here on my table without any announcement. That was your fairy dunya. My fairy dunya. It's from Retrofat, one of my favorite brands. And you got something from Micah as well. Something from? Micah. Yes, I'm gonna open that as well. Hi, Mar, how this find you? Blah, blah, blah. There. Thanks. I love, I love that brand name. Thanks, Tete. This is so divine. I don't know how this works. Like this. This is so incredible. I need to figure out how this works. These are the earrings. I'm removable. Please don't lose me. And then over here, the retro jewelry is actually available on Ed Forte. <gasps> oh my god, this is so cool. This is so cool and so fast. Just wait for it. Is this the other way around? Is this the wrong side? The smart ones, smart ones already figured it. Is it the right way? These are the retrofit earrings. I will link them below. They're available on Netaporte at the moment. And they've also kindly gifted me for Christmas this choker. I mean, I love the brand. I've always supported it and loved it. This is just so wonderful. This choker, so glamorous. Cannot wait to wear it. And then the clip-ons that you could have seen. These are also so spectacular. I just need to figure out, does this go maybe on clothes as well? You can attach this on clothes as well. Look, maybe not on your PJ, but... I think this has a purpose. I don't think these are just earrings, actually. Or even if they are at all earrings. They go somewhere. I need to figure it out. Love the brand so much. I think it's amazing. They've done an incredible job. I have currently in my collection... One, two, three, four. It must be more than four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Just four. It looks like I have four dresses in my collection, but I think I have more. I must have forgotten some. Yeah. I, I feel like I have more. I just don't know where they are. I love these earrings. It's so funny because I wore an initial earring from uh, Dior recently, and Amelia asked me, why are you wearing it? Like, is that a cross on your ear? And I was like, no, it's letter T, but I guess it looks a little bit like a cross but this is okay it's so fabulous so that's it i really need to get ready now get dressed go to town because there's so much to do and yeah that's clearly my favorite thing to say there's so much to do this is honestly so crazy so i was like choosing what to wear because i'm not dressed i am choosing what i'm gonna wear and then i turn around and then i see there's Another retrofed dress that magically appeared in my wardrobe. Well, it didn't magically appear, but that's what it looked like because that's where my sister put it as she put the earrings. And I feel like there's another thing, but I guess she couldn't find a hanger for this one. Guys, this is so beautiful. I'm going to try both of these for you. Just considering, should I try it on now or should I try it on when I'm back? When I'm back from town. This is so beautiful. I love it. I'm obsessed. I think I have my New Year's Eve dress kind of done. There's a bit of a shoulder pad here. Look how beautiful this is. Retrofet literally is insane. And this is available in Etaporte, so if you order it, you probably can still get it in time for New Year's Eve. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. I literally like this perhaps is now my favorite dress I own and I'm not just saying that I have a lot of dresses like when I when I say my favorite dress I mean like comparing to my evening dresses actually like retro fest takes the biggest chunk of my kind of evening and party dresses these are my party dresses but this 
is just... I don't know what you guys think, but I think this is out of this world. And I love it. Or guys, if you're a little bit extra like I usually am, this will be your New Year's Eve dress again. This will be linked below as well. I haven't properly buttoned it, so this wrap dress and then it like belts into accentuates the waist. But I already have a dress of this type. I love it so much. It's perfection. And my other favorite dress or fed dress is this one. I mean, I love a good sparkle. Can you blame me? Look at this. So, yeah. This is honestly, like, my favorite brand for evening dresses. They do so well. They're so talented. And they really create amazing pieces for women to feel great in them. So, today, for some reason, I really look like my mom. Every time I look at myself in the mirror. Maybe because my lashes are extra long. And my mom has ridiculously long lashes. Like, like illegal. It should be illegal. I think I'm ready to roll. I'm pretty like casual because it's a casual day. Got my Samsung Samsung knit, Zara trousers which are like a squirt. Then I got my Nanushka beloved coat, Bottega boots and I want to have a bag which fits a decent amount of stuff but perhaps it's still quite cute. Let's choose something. I mean I guess the Dior book tote, it would work really well because it would make the outfit a bit more fun and a bit more me. But is it too big and too bulky? Maybe. But let's still go with it. Like, oh, literally, like, I, I heard it and I was like, oh, leaves me such a, like, such a, like, a, a feeling of, like, usually when I'm having an argument, that's what that says. Like, wow, it sounds like Always. Yeah, this is bad, bad, bad sign. So bad. I'm getting, I'm getting old. You're basically either getting old or you're like starting to look like one of your parents. I don't know which is worse. But you know what? I, I'd rather get old. When I started, I'd just rather get old than be I like my parents. When I started in a pharmacy, I was by far the youngest, and now I'm you're like the oldest and the eldest. <gasps> Actually, I was by far the youngest, always, not even close to yeah, it. The, the like second older person was like 40. Up, gave up. Yeah, thank God. God. Talking about that, do you think I should try and What's call him to see? Sorry, you, I pressed some buttons. What did you press, for God's sake? I'm not sure. Okay. Shall I call Dad and see if he's still mad at me? Yeah, of course I, he's mad at you. <laughs> do you think he's still mad? Dad's, my dad is, like, I love my parents, but I would hate to be like them when I grow up. When you grow up? No. Will that ever happen? No, that's a good thing. Let's see if that is. How much do you want to bet? You think he's still angry? I don't think he is. He is. I'm his favorite child, though. Well, we know that, but he's angry with you. Because you are irrational. Irrational, even. Let's see irrational. if he really doesn't pick up. And then I'm right again. What then? You're what always then? right, every then, time. Then you come, every you come and help me pick turkey. And <laughs> what's even best, you get to eat turkey. I cannot believe he's not picking up. It's almost been 24 hours. No answer from Tata. Uh, <laughs> ah, I didn't tell me show that posture. Posture. <laughs> it's a word in Serbian for postman. Well, actually, it's not a word in Serbian. For, it's not. It's, it's, it's just from. It's like a joke. But postman is coming. Is supposedly bringing me some parcels. That, like some orders are made. I need to do some shopping. I need to call for pedicure. Okay, I need to go. Before I go, I want to tell you that in the end, I still opted for a winged liner because. I just think like it suits me way better to have like a bit of a cat eye. Also put on my Misoma earrings. Like these earrings, by the way, are amazing. They're like, I love them so much. You I really alternate. got value for money out of those earrings. I know, I wear them so much. You really did. These and the other ones. So the other ones are a bit bigger. I'll try and insert a picture of what the other ones look like on me. These are a little bit lighter. So if you have like sensitive ears or ears that cannot handle a lot of weight, pick these I'll link them below so you Even can differentiate Victor loves them yeah he loves them too my baby my baby anyway I'm gonna go and call the place now to see if they can see me for a pedicure they can't. Christmas time. <laughs> do you they think can't. a lot of people have their pedicures for Christmas of course but why your like feet are in boots you know Doesn't like matter. I wouldn't think people, people might be do. going to spas. exactly that spas. and like holidays Dubai it's like exactly. a very English thing for people to go for New Year's Eve to Dubai so, no they're gonna be booked as well Let's try. Good morning. Hi. I was wondering if there is an availability to come soon for a pedicure. Yes, for today. Around two? Yeah, okay. I'll come around two. Tamara. T-A-M-A-R-A. Yes. See you two. Bye. Okay, so it's one one. Yeah, kind of like more. I was hoping they're going to see me in like half an hour. It's fine. You get to spend another half an hour with me. 
I just see no. No, that's Can we go like, turkey shopping for Exactly what just went through my head. <laughs> Please let me know if there's other people that hate food shopping. Please let me know. I really dislike grocery shopping because I feel like a child. I lose my sister in the aisles and then she leaves me at the till, okay? And then she says, let me just go and grab one more thing. And you know that feeling when you're a child and, and your mom you says... tackle the bag. No, no, no. You know when like you're a child and your mom leaves you at the till and then the, the woman scans everything and mom is nowhere to be found and it's time to pay. Uh -huh. Do you know this feeling? Like anxiety, fire in my chest. Everybody's waiting behind the queue, and you're like, ah, my mom is just looking at some sugar icing for the cake. <laughs> Which is usually the case when it comes to our mom. Not a massive fan of food shopping. Even like in relationships when I have a boyfriend, I'm just like, I want to get in. You're just not very domestic. Not at all. Not at That's all. That's it. I don't, but we I don't know why. In this vlogmas that you don't, you didn't even know the name of washing machine. <laughs> How will I wash? wash but it? why am I so not domesticated? <laughs> is the question because you called it a clothes washer. <laughs> you know, like I have all the potential in life for being a domesticated no, person. No, it's just because you live with me. That's Do you think all. that's why? So I've allowed you, so it's my fault actually. But now that you're soon, I like that you take your responsibility. For now it. that you're soon venturing out for the first time, my phone's gonna be engaged when you phone me to ask. Uh, How do I fill a turkey? Uh, this delivery for that or Electricity needs to breaks. be collected, uh, connected to my, in my flat, so who do I call? If I have, if I ever find a husband, I'll just like order food from Deliveroo and then pretend I cooked it. That's just mean. It's fault advertising. No, it's not. It is. Why? You'll be taking. He still somebody. has the food on the table. I know, but you'll be ta taking somebody else's work. Or I have even better job, like uh, idea. Tell me. I'll find the husband that cooks. Oh. A lot of my friends have husbands that cook. Well, no one can cook, so that's good. Yeah, that's so good. If you think about it, I can be doing so. And it's not that I don't want to cook because I want to paint my nails or have my facials. I want. I don't. I don't want to cook because I would rather read the book. You know. Mm. Also, how do you like my lips now that they're smaller? I love them. I absolutely love them. I like my teeth are so much bigger now because the lips are not hiding them anymore. So when I smile, it's like. Anyway, I'm gonna gonna go to town now and potentially be buy turkey potentially be forced into turkey shopping even though my sister didn't believe it i made made sure that i get my appointment so now i'm just waiting to be pretty again done with pedicure honestly like sometimes i'm just sitting there and thinking like wow I wish I could just like drop my hands and feet off and pick them up in an hour and they're like all beautiful and nice and not having to sit there but I could do other things while while did one else, you know? Oh, I'm gonna walk to the train station now and I'm gonna attempt to go to London but I've heard that most of the trains are cancelled so if they are due to flooding because it was raining okay trains to London are cancelled I could get one if I wait for an hour which I literally can figure out so many other ways to oh my god it's raining so much again actually I'm so happy I'm not going now because I I'm worried that I won't be able to I was gonna do a little bit of shopping before I go back home, but now that it's raining so violently, how does Nina say it? the weather is atrocious? I'm really not not I'm gonna go back home and do nothing and be another pouring lover with my latte fresh. So, I can smell such a strong smell of weed. <laughs> I'm just trying to get anywhere actually at this point, but it's so wet and I don't even know if I want to try and brave the rain. My sister's asked me if I can uh, wait for her so we go for lunch. She has like 40 ish minutes of work left. I could, but I just need to get somewhere where it's sheltered, you know? I'll, I'll try and do something. One thing you should know is never leave me. Never leave me in a bookshop. I am leaving with like 10 books. My toe is so full. Bought a lot for Christmas and presents. What's the time? 
421. Pretty windy because we're in the street that leads straight to the to the seafront. This is like a really funny thing that I just got here. We're at the back of the shopping mall. It's so funny because when I was a student, I worked on my days off that I didn't have university. I worked at Hollister and at Abercrombie. It's kind of loud. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Normally the shopping mall opens at 9, but if you have the morning shift, you start at 7 by like tidying and I don't know, like you tidy the shop, you make sure all the tills are on, the lights are on, everything is done. And this would be like the back entrance. And I remember like coming at 7 a.m. to work. And when it's like Christmas time, sometimes even earlier, like 6, and then you come and you open it. And I would often ask for two shifts because nobody wanted to work at Christmas time so I can make more money. Okay, so my sister was like, hey, don't go home without me. Wait for me. Let's go together. She was like, hey, like let's go for lunch and I was like okay I'll wait around for you so I waited and then I sat in the car and she was like actually we're going turkey shopping and you know how I feel now Dunya? I feel like in that video because you completely tricked me yeah uh, remember when we lived here Yeah, but I kind of love it more now because I have like a closet size of my whole bedroom for the last time that I lived here, you know? Just think of my bed. Oh my god, I, I forgot about your bed. I had to like dive into the bed. It wasn't that bad. It was. The bed was almost the bit of the room. <laughs> That's typical in here. But you know what, even though your bed in the, our old house was the size of the room, I still always enjoyed coming for sleepovers with you, to sleep in your bed. Of course, so you're coming turkey shopping with me. You're so, you're so lovely. But where are we buying this turkey? Cool. Huh? So this is great um, shop where I buy my turkey every year, it's called Cook. Cook? Yeah. Yeah, that's not so like, I'm sure there's like a franchise, it's like a common place. Yeah, it is. This Canon and Sons also sells good turkey. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, we could buy it there for a change. Because I'm so bothered about the turkey, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. It gives you a lot of distress. It gives me a lot of like, mm, which turkey to buy, how to how buy How many people it, do you have to feed? Yeah, I'm what stuffing? For what stuffing do you, do I want? The only thing when I think about turkey is the episode of Joey when he sticks his head inside of a turkey. Oh my god! It is. It's stuck. Or Mr. Bean. <laughs> That's the only thing. Priceless. You are just price priceless. Because I'm not gonna be eating it. But you know what I'll be eating? Tell me. Your Brussels sprouts. Really? Yes. That's very what nice. What else will you I'll cook? I'll make sure that there is a nice salad for you as well. Just make sure not to overcook them because you know how I like my food. Yes, like a person course, who sits yeah. on Satan's right shoulder. Exactly. <laughs> Raw. You know what does al dente mean? Yeah, I know. What does it mean? It means like barely cooked. Like if you put pasta inside yeah, of like... Yeah, but you know the meaning of the word? Explain. Apparently it means to the teeth. My teeth are Yeah, al dente, me. dental. Yeah. But I know. <laughs> I never thought about what it. What do you mean to the teeth? I don't know. We'll have to ask your Italian followers to explain to us why do we bake pasta. Let's see if that's right. I was told let's, this. Let's check, let's check. But why do they call pasta that's hard boiled to the tooth? So it's firm when bitten. I like, I don't really know if, the, like, obviously I like pasta al dente, but when it comes to vegetables, I don't like super firm when bitten. What I do like, however, is when it's not burned. That's always a plus. Yeah, it's firm, it, it's cooked to be firm to bite. But yeah, the meaning is to the tooth. Let's see, see how so much I want. Oh my god, I'm almost meeting my goals. I have to admit that I was defeated. No turkey. No scones, everything is sold out. It's like pandemic starts tomorrow. But they get delivery tomorrow. They get, so you're gonna go? I'm at work. But I have one and only. Mei Mei. 
You Maybe. Have a, do you have another sister? I hope parents birthed you, <laughs> like Stefan would say, Multiple. birthed you more sisters so that they can go to yeah. buy a turkey parents for you. Parents only birthed me one sister. <laughs> So there's only one I can rely on to rescue my Christmas dinner for people. We say turkey in in Serbian. We say churka zezatorka. Churka zezatorka. That's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm. Slightly exhausted back to the crime scene. Let's put the light on. Someone just left me a comment saying, like, hey, on one of my last videos, I also inserted a clip of like an old clip from 2014 of me. Those like mobs are still there. Oh, it annoys me so much. Someone asked me, like, oh my god, you look so different. Like, why would you? insert this or like keep your old pictures online and the truth is like i'm not in focus that's the truth i kept my old blog posts online public which i guess most influencers don't do but i kept mine online and all of my old pictures as well as inserted them in one of the recent videos and i do still insert and refer to the old videos because i think if you own who you were and you kind of own and accept who you are or who you were or what you used to look like or what you used to do like old jobs or old life situations or bad boyfriend choices or bad lifestyle choices if you own it in life nobody can ever hold it against you and that's one thing that i have read long ago when i was a teenager and honestly like this is the biggest truth ever if you own who you used to be what you used to look like what you did who you dated and if you don't try to hide anything in your life ever nobody can ever take it against you because you're like hey this is what i used to look like this is how my style was this is what my hair was like short blonde hair you know and you own it and then nobody like you know when i started my youtube i know exactly what i used to look like like the clip that i inserted for example i know what i used to wear how i used to i don't know like look what my hair was like what my eyebrows were like or lack of eyebrows i guess if i was ashamed or embarrassed of it i would never have kept it my opinion is that you should always always embrace your past accept your past declare your past like one of the biggest lessons ever was when sia's naked pictures leaked someone um was blackmailing her and saying like hey unless you pay me this money we will leak all of your naked pictures and basically then she leaked them herself she just posted them all over her instagram and said well i guess now there's nothing to blackmail me for and you lose the money <laughs> and i think that's the smartest thing ever if you post something about yourself and you say something about yourself that some people might mock or say it's terrible then no one will be able to hold it against you so that's my my two cents maybe this will be relevant to some of you maybe not but also the reason why i was inspired to talk about this is because recently i saw on twitter that really really made me so angry someone posted that i can't remember who it was but someone relatively famous that he was blackmailed to by his ex-partner that the ex-partner will declare his sexuality and say that the, this guy is gay and he was like kind of secretly gay not secretly but maybe he was not ready yet to share that with his world and his surrounding which i think is absolutely fine and i think that everybody i'm sorry about this changing screens it's just we transfer i think people should have choice when they want to share something and how they share it and being blackmailed to do anything in life is not okay so i felt very angry that this man ended up declaring himself on twitter he didn't accept to these blackmails he didn't pay the money or whatever the condition was he declared himself his sexuality online but i think that you know things like that are so personal and so intimate and really nobody should ever be forced or blackmailed 
to do something I, I guess you know in freedom of speech you really cannot really expect anything and I'm fully 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 supportive of freedom of speech it's just that I my heart really felt for the man that had to speak about his sexuality before the time that he was ready perhaps you know so yeah that's a little bit about that but then in the end he owned it and then nobody could hold it against him what i did today i bought many books I bought some as christmas gifts for my sister and i know she every year buys me some books as well so i'm not gonna show you because obviously some of them are christmas gifts but now i'm gonna go and kind of like i, I got a big massive package for post from postman <laughs> i mean not from him personally but you know he brought a ba big package this can be a bit sexual the postman brought a big box containing clothes um today earlier on and i will unbox it now with you i've just managed to open the box i got two pairs of shoes and i don't know why because i actually have so many new pairs of shoes and even though i cleared out space on the shoe shelf i'm back again with like lack of space on the shoe shelf still couldn't help myself so i'm going to show you the first pair of boots is from Alexandre Bautier. Oh, I forgot that I got tall boots. I thought I got short boots. And they are these metallic boots. I like how they're cut at the top. And I think they look so fabulous. I'm gonna try them on for you, of course. Okay, guys, here are the new boots, as you can see. I think they are so epic, like really, really sexy, really beautiful. I like the shape. You see that at the back, they look a bit like longer than in the front I perhaps wouldn't style them like that because of the gold buttons but I've got a Balmain skirt and a Versace hoodie on top but actually I think on top this is quite a cute look I don't know why I'm so breathless today how am I doing to the workout? Let me check. as you can see I have almost fully performed all of my activities the only one missing is walking but I've done the exercise and I'm done standing up I need to do more walking so this is the look and the boots these are the boots and I really, really love them. Actually, I think these boots would go really well with my new retro pad dress that I tried on today that arrived in the post. I'm really lazy to change, but for you guys, I would do anything. So I'm going to change just to show you an idea of a look. Okay, it's official. My New Year's Eve look is here. Love this so much. I love these boots. And I think the look is quite like space... Um, inspired but i think it's very cool and these boots would go really well as well i would say with jeans or trousers and i know that they come in many different colors so here we go basically i made this order on flannels because they have really nice selection of things and sometimes even really really good sales i think one of these pieces was on sale so i will link it below so you can find it really really discounted the other pair of shoes comes in this beautiful yellow box I created so much mess already and I already have a pair of boots from this collection so you will be able to recognize what I'm talking about I'm talking about F-Frame collection by Fendi and these are the ankle boots of the F-Frame I just love the heel this is not even that high for me personally this would be an everyday heel I mean even for my grandma this would be like an everyday heel at the back they have this orange lining I love that in the front they are of course as you guys know that the sole is like framing the shoe it just says Fendi 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 kind of on the zip can you tell and I'm gonna try it all on for you now All Saints Knit Dior jeans and these are the new boots and they're not white they're more like creamy gray I would say mm, I guess off-white with that orange line at the back I personally love them because the heel is not too high yet it's high enough and for me this is like I honestly could walk in this heel every single day so it's not too much for me and yeah I think it's such a nice addition to my to my wardrobe and then I'll show you one last piece I've just put on a gray coat over you've seen this coat before it's honestly like incredible and I have to agree I love it so so much sorry for lots so many mo movements I love this combo so much look at this and like maybe with an orange bag I think this look would be so perfect because of the orange line at the back you know very cute very like still winter appropriate still a bit dressy but not too dressy and not too casual since i was changing so many times throughout today 
now i created a lot of mess and i need to put all of these things back on because you guys know how much i love when it's all tidy and beautiful and neatly put these things where they need to be sorry mama for watching this before i forget there's not much of this left but we got to numero 23 number 23 is i know this fragrance la colin noir some of my frenchies will inform me let's see what it smells like i'm curious kind of like raspberries if you ask me i just realized i never pulled out number five it's sakura but i probably never pulled it out because I um, got a full size. Okay, let's do Harrods as well, since we're already here. Uh, 20, this is much easier. 23 over here. It is Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment. This is really great for traveling, so great. A quick update before I go to have a shower, wash my face and go to sleep is that so someone asked me in my recent video in one of my last videos i'm not sure which ones i read all the comments like together so i have no idea which one it was but it was one of the recent ones what personality test results i've got so i've done it for you and i am e n f j t and uh, it's really interesting i'm yet to read about it a protagonist i think yeah so i'm gonna read a little bit more about the protagonist these are by the way my summer earrings that i wear as little rings just because my nephew was about to pull them out of my ear comment below if you've done the personality test i think it's quite interesting because a lot of people often talk about it but i really need to look more into it from what i have looked it's kind of similarly actually said as my life path it said kind of like a leader like visionary the one with ideas always trying to help others and teach them in life kind of thing i have managed to organize most of my space and place now everything is looking pretty fine but i think i'm now um, just sending lina a transfer and then i'm going to sleep because i'm really really exhausted even though it's only 10 o'clock tomorrow i'm actually gonna get up pretty early and i'm gonna attempt to go to london hopefully there'll be better train situation fingers crossed so anyway good night sleep tight and i will see you tomorrow bye guys